Now our next speaker is Tony Romano. Tony is a teacher and successful author, thereby disproving the axiom, those who can do and those who can't teach. <laughs> Tony does both in an excellent fashion with enjoyment and exhilaration. He most, his most recent novel is Where My Body Ends and the World Begins. Tony lives near Chicago and has a blog, TonyRomanAuthor.com, in which he writes about books, music, work, and family. Tony? Thanks. I wish, oops, sorry. I wish uh, Fred Gardafe were here to uh, comment about uh, Gay Talese. To, to get the off-the-record comments. <laughs> you can imagine what Fred would be saying. Uh, I was in Italy a year ago. About this time, I got to bring my two daughters. A uh, third one was working. She couldn't make it, and their husbands, they had never been there, so it was quite a treat. So going upstairs, looking at the photographs of the uh, Italian streets just creates this great longing. I'm sure it does for, the, for you as well. Uh, I found connections between what I'm going to talk about or sing and uh, the three speakers so um, it's like Peter and I uh, planned this but, but we didn't so uh, I'm, tr I'm trying something a little different uh, I've been writing songs for about two years now and I had never written a song before uh, I didn't know how to write a song and I still don't feel like I know how but anyway this is called uh, Dear Rosalie Deep inside the cover See? 
something on my website, uh, TonyRomanoAuthor.com, about my uh, about my old man. I still have the tailored suit sewn by my old man. A gray pinstripe he made for me when I was 21. Love unfolds in its own way. Sometimes words won't come. Stitch by stitch. A life is made, each thread tells where we're from. Words not spoken, threads unbroken, began his long apprenticeship when he was. Months away from his family, those years were tough and lean. Time slipped by, his only ego to provide for his family. Stitch by stitch, he made a life for my sister, brother, and me.
Five, five minutes? Yeah. You sure? Go right ahead. All right. Uh, when I was in Italy, one of the favorite things for me to do was to speak Italian, because I don't speak very well, but I tried. And so uh, when I got back, I thought one of the ways I could learn Italian was to maybe translate some of my own songs. So half of this is in Italian, half is in English, and uh, Anna's going to sing it with me. I am. No. <laughs> <laughs> I emailed her, I said, do you sing? She said, no, because I thought that would be, it's kind of hard to sing because it's, uh, he, she interrupts him. So it's an Italian man, American uh, woman. And if you know any Italian, you'll appreciate it even more, but you can probably pick it up from the context. notte <laughs> Change the subject. It's a beautiful night. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.